Hallelujah, hallelujah. Me and my brothers were here to give the gospel. And what is the gospel? It is the good news. Right now we have bad news and good news. But today, we're here to give you the good news. And that good news is for you to repent and trust in Jesus Christ. But it's not going to take too long. Jesus Christ is going to come soon. And when he comes, what are you going to tell him? Or how is he going to come and find you? Is he going to see you in a good state? Is he going to see you as a holy person? Because let me tell you, if you're not holy, you're not going to be able to go with him in that kingdom. If you're not holy, you're not going to be able to go with him. You're not going to be able to ascend to be with him in that kingdom. So today, if you're here, me and my brothers today, we want you to repent from your sins and turn to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ can set you free. Jesus Christ can give you liberty. Jesus Christ can give you freedom. Because a lot of people are in chains. They're in bondage. And that's why the Bible says that he came to set the captives free. And whoever the son says free is free indeed. A lot of people are not free. They are slaves of sin. A slave of sin. You are a slave to pornography. And that pornography is destroying your marriage. That pornography is leading you to commit adultery in your marriage. So today, if you are a slave of pornography, Jesus Christ can set you free. He can set you free from that pornography that is destroying your marriage. He can set you free from homosexuality. Because that is a sin as well. If you look on this list, it says sodomy. The people of Sodom and Gomorrah, they were committing sexual morality. They were doing uh, homosexuality. And Jesus Christ did not like that. Jesus Christ did not like, does not like that. And God does not like that. So he calls fire and brimstone to come upon the people of Sodom and Gomorrah. So today, if you hear my voice today, repent of your sins. That's not good. Homosexuality is not good. I don't want no dialogue with people like you. Why? What's, why? Why don't you want a, di a dialogue with me? Let everybody be who they Homosexuality is not. No, it's not good. It's destroying society. It's destroying society. Homosexuality destroying society. It's a perversion. It's a perversion. Homosexuality is a perversion. You're crazy. You're not welcome here. Go yes, away. Yes, I am welcome. This is You're God's world. You're not welcome here. This is God created this world. I'm welcome. So no, are you. No, you're not. We're all welcome. No, no. If you got that anti-gay crap, have... you're not welcome here. Yeah, homosexuality is a perversion. It's destroying this world. You're because full of crap. If Adam and Eve, if people are gay, where gay, would you be? You're a bigot. You're a bigot. If, if everybody happened to be homosexual, where would you be? You're an anti-gay bigot. No, I'm not. You are. No, I'm not a bigot. And you're not welcome in DuPont Circle. I'm Go welcome. Away. This is Go God created Virginia this world. God created this world. You're a bigot. No, I'm not a bigot. You don't even know what bigot means. Y yes, I do. Yes, I do. I don't understand what a bigot Go means. Away. I'm, I'm in God's world. I'm, I'm welcome here. I'm welcome in this world. Go away. And I'm welcome to preach this message. So today, if you hear this message, repent. For Jesus Christ is coming soon. And if you are practicing homosexuality, he's going to judge you. He's going to send you to the eternal fire. Where they will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. They will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So today, repent of your sins. Repent from the wickedness. If everybody happened to be homosexuals, where would you be? Where would I be? It's a perversion. He said that man will leave his mother and father and cleave unto his wife, and the two will become one flesh. He did not say that man will leave his mother and father and cleave unto his husband. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They'll, you will cleave unto your wife, and they will become one flesh. One flesh. One flesh. One that is not good. That is a perversion. Yes, that is a perversion. If here. everybody Jesus chooses to... Welcome here. I am welcome in God's world. I'm welcome in God's world. I'm welcome here. I'm a credit human being just like you are. I am welcome here. I'm here to give you the gospel, the good news. If you do not repent from that wickedness, God is going to judge you and, and throw you into that eternal fire. He's going to throw you into that eternal fire. And I know for sure that you do not want to just put your hand to a fire one moment and see how it burns. Now think about being in that fire for eternity. Think about being in that fire for eternity. It's not pleasant. That fire is not pleasant. Just get in burnt for a little moment. Yeah, go away, bigots. Bigots not welcome here. You're not bigots. welcome in God's world. Repent of your sins. Repent. Repent of your sins, old man. Repent. Repent of your sins. 
I was gonna be like, man, he's just be like, if you not anti, he's just anti-sin. Repent. Like sin. Yeah, Repent. Like sin. Yeah, that lifestyle. It's a perversion. If everybody happened to be homosexuals in this world, where would you be? Where would I be? And that is why God said a man would leave his mother and father and cleave unto his wife, and they will become one flesh. He did not say that you would leave your mother and your father and cleave unto your husband. A man is supposed to be with a woman. A woman is supposed to be with a man. It's a perversion. Flee from that perversion. Flee from it. God is not pleased with it. God created a man and a woman to be together. He did not create a man to be with a man. That is a perversion. It's wickedness. And that is what's going on. Everybody's trying to tell God that God does not know what, he, what he's doing. When a man gets with a man, we're basically telling him that he does not know what he's doing. Why would he create a man and a woman to be together so that we can reproduce? So that we can procreate? So that human beings will come into this world. If homosexuality is so good, how come it's so painful? How come it's so painful to the other person that is uh, having that sexual intercourse? It's not right. It's not normal. Just let them be. No, you, love is love. No, no, it's not love. Okay. Lo love does not rejoice in sin. And God defined that homosexuality is a sin. So how? how, how, how that's your interpretation. No, that, that's only one interpretation. No, there's, like, there's only one interpretation. Jesus Christ only gave one interpretation. How, how, how else are you supposed to look at this quotation? He said that man, a, a man, listen, listen, a man will leave his mother and father and cleave onto his wife. How is that I mean, different? Not, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, it's not an opinion, it's a fact. It's a fact. First of all, you are not in it, and second, it's a public area, right? Okay, that's fine. If we believe in God, the same God we believe in. Exactly. This is a fact. Well, we, we don't want to put no pressure on you. We don't, we don't want yeah, to put no pressure. Yeah. There's no pressure. Exactly. We feel like we put no pressure, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So we don't want to put no pressure. This is actually love. Yeah. What we're doing, we're preaching love. Let me tell you. No, no. Let me tell you what love is. Love is. This is what the Bible said. Love, love is. Love is that God sent His only begotten Son into the world so that you may be saved. That is love. Even though you are a sinner. Even though you are a sinner, God sent the Son into the world so that you may be saved. That is love. That is what love is. When you are a sinner and you done wickedness, God still loved you to send his only begotten Son so that you may be saved. Now that is love. That is what love is. Listen, that love is love. But when I ever since I've been here, I've been getting attacked by the love community. How is that love? I'm here trying to get you saved. I'm here trying to give you the gospel so that you may repent. But ever since I've been here, I've been getting attacked by, by the love is love community. How is that love? What I'm giving you is love. I'm giving you Jesus Christ so that you may repent, so that you may get saved. Now that is love. Love is that I see you going to that fire and I'm here giving you the word of God so that you may flee from that fire. That is love. That is what love is. Because I see you that I love you. I do not want you to get burned by that eternal fire. So I give you the message, the gospel, so that you may be saved. That is love. That is love. So blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Right now, me and my brothers, we're coming in the name of the Lord. So we're blessed. What name are you coming in? Are you coming in in the name of Jesus Christ? Or are you coming in the name of the devil? And I'll show you how you come in the name of the devil. How you come in the name of the devil is you're living in sin. It's because you're living in sin. You're living in lies. And that's why Jesus Christ said to the people that whoever lies is the father of the devil. Because he's the one that lied from the beginning. And that's what homosexuality is. You're living in a lie. If you're practicing homosexuality, it's a lie. Because that's not how it was from the beginning. From the beginning, he said that he made a man and female so that they will come together and be one flesh. So any, uh, any other uh, way is a lie. Any other way is a lie. So repent from that wickedness. Repent from that wickedness and turn to Jesus Christ and you may be saved. But the end is very near. The end is very near. Repent of your wickedness. Repent from your sins. Repent from your sins. It's not normal. And a lot of people will say that I come from a Christian household. So that, that, that does not make you a Christian. If you come from a Christian household or you were, you were baptized when you were a baby, that does not make you a Christian. What makes you a Christian is you're living in the truth. You're obeying the teachings of Jesus Christ. You're not living a lie. 
you obeying the teachings of Jesus Christ. That is what makes you a Christian. A true Christian has repented from their sins. A true Christian does not live in sin. A true Christian does not live a life of a lie. A true Christian obeys Jesus Christ. That is where the name Jesus Christ comes from. Christian. Christian. That means you're a disciple of Christ. Christian. That's what makes you a Christian. A Christian is someone who obeys Jesus Christ. So today, are you ready to repent today? Are you ready to receive freedom? Are you ready to repent of your wickedness? We're preaching love. We're preaching love. Excuse me, sir. You want to know God today? You want to know God today? You want to repent of your sins? You want to start living the truth? You want to be like I'm just a bitch. Come on, brother. We're giving the truth. Repent of your wickedness. Shut your mouth. You know what you're doing. Repent of your wickedness. There's a lot of demonic oppression going on. A lot of demonic oppression. And God can set you free from it. God can set you free from it. The devil is oppressing a lot of people. The devil is oppressing a lot of people. Oh, yeah. And you that's too? what happens when you are oppressed by the evil one. When you are oppressed by the devil, you try to put some of that oppression on other people. But God can set you free so he can become a blessing on the people. God can give you a life of freedom, a, li a life of peace, so that you can give peace onto other people. It's not peaceful when you're yelling at us. No, we're not. But we're giving you the truth. It's love. This is what love is. I see that you're, you're, you're headed in the wrong direction, and we're trying to give you the truth. The word of God says so. The Bible says so. I stand with Jesus Christ. I stand with Jesus Christ. I I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, I'm okay to stay here. This is a public property. I can stay here. This is a public property. You can't stand here with an amplifier. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can put up the laws for you. I can stay here. I'm okay to stay here. You can shut me down. That's right. You can shut me down. I'm not shutting you down. You cannot ever do anything. We can have a conversation. I'm asking. The Bible that I'm preaching is a historical book. You said you're bringing peace. I'm bringing peace. Jesus Christ said he's the peace. He's the, he's the peace. He's the prince of peace. You're bringing me education. No, I'll win. You don't care to stick with me. Exactly. Here we go. Does God tell you why I have to react? Exactly. Because it's annoying. No, it's not annoying. It's a, it's a message of peace. It's a message of peace. The reason why it's annoying you, brother, can I tell you something? I know, right? Like something. You the reason why it's annoying you is because you have oppression on you. And this message comes to set you free. Yeah, this message is here to set you free. And right now, the demonic oppression that's upon your life is set you free. This message can free you from your, your, your wickedness. Because trust me, you try to be good, but you can't be good because. You can't do it by yourself. The word of God says so. The word of God says so. The reason, let me tell you, right now you're not being good because you're trying to turn away the message of Jesus. And that is not good. That is blasphemy. You can't have a peace of the I'm not shutting you down. I'm not shutting you Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. What's your problem with God right now? What's your problem with, with Christianity? What's your problem with Christianity? I'm just preaching message. I'm just preaching love right now. How, how am I knowing you? How, how am I knowing you? How am I knowing you? I can easily say that you are knowing me as well. Because you're talking and I'm talking. So how am I knowing you? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just spreading love. I'm just preaching God. I'm just preaching what the word of God says. I'm, I'm not, I'm not giving you no lie. I, this is, this is truth that I'm giving you. So what, what? This is the Bible is a historical book. It's proven. No problem. So all I'm, I'm gonna leave you with, if you do not repent, and Jesus Christ comes and you sin, you're not gonna be with him in this kingdom. He's gonna send you into the eternal fire. You heard it from me. My hands are free of your blood. My hands are free of your blood. I dust the sand off my feet. 
I'm gonna give you the message. If you do not take it, your blood, your blood is over my hands. Thank you. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Just like his children, his family, so you're ruining everyone's not day. Everything. No, we're not. It's got nothing to do with God. We're not. The Bible says that teach the child in the way they should it's go, so that disruption. when they go, they will not. You want to protest? Get a protest permit. This, this, this is not protesting. We're spreading out. We're spreading. We're spreading. Oh, no. We I'm have a, freedom I'm of a speech. Jewish gay person, and yeah. this is offensive as f. It's not. A, it's if not I offensive. Around, if I went around saying stuff about black people, Africans, you would have a problem. That would be a public. But disruption. let me tell you something. This message is for all people. It's not. It's not. It's not. I'm saying that you're offending me and others. So if you don't have a permit, oh, you're a protest. We don't need a permit to have freedom of speech. That permit. This is in the First Amendment. This, no, this is this is the public. I have I have the freedom of speech. Your shit, right now. What's up? No, I'm about to disrupt no, your no, shit. No, no, if, no, if, no, you, no. if you hear me, no, if you, if you, if you touch me, I'm gonna call the police. The police will come over here. Exactly. The fuck out of here. No, they're gonna arrest you. If you if you put your hands on me, they're gonna arrest you. Let me ask you. Don't. Oh my God. Don't. Hey, where you guys right now? They're gonna arrest you. Where's Jesus right now? Jesus Christ right here. Don't cry, bro. If you touch me, you're gonna get arrested. Nah, nah, bro. No. Okay. Well, back away from me then. If you touch me, you can. Freedom of speech. Yeah. Okay. Okay, then we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and preach. We're gonna right, keep now, preaching. I'll just dance with you. Okay, okay, you, you can dance around. Yeah. I'm saying, are you Jewish? Uh, I'm Jewish. So where's the love? Okay. So, so where's the love? So where's the love? You have the same God that we have. Exactly. My God has nothing to do with this. So what do you right? God believe? Because we believe in the same God. Exactly. You are ruining everyone's we're not, day. We're not ruining we're nobody's day. No, right here. That's fine because the Bible even says that we should teach the child the word of God, and that is what we're doing. We teach them the Bible. Get you, you're protesting. This is a we're, not, protest. we're not protesting. This is a protest. This is not a protest. This is freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. I got the First Amendment. Exactly. I got freedom of speech right okay. now. All right. But, oh, don't put your hands on me. Oh, hold on. Back away from I'm me. I'm saying. Then. I got oh, freedom of speech. Let me, let me get it. Back away from me. Then. I know. I know. It's right. funny, right? Oh, that's funny, right? All right. I Sorry. So police. police? <laughs> call the police. We're gonna call the police on you. I don't know. I'll just. Have We're gonna to call the police. Yeah, if you don't stop, bro, I'll just call the police right away, man. Because. I'm not putting my hands on me. We're having our freedom of speech. What are you doing? One day, someone says. Oh, I want it's gonna be gay as hell. You gonna, that's fine. Oh, you are gonna be gay. We're working for God. Be me. If they kick me, if they kick us, they're not kicking. They're not kicking. If you, they're if kicking you try God. to kick us, we're coming in the name of God. Fuck out of here. We're gonna preach the message of God. We're sent by God. We're not gonna. If you don't want to accept the message, you're disrupting the public, right? No, you're the public. No, I represent everyone who's too polite to say anything. Okay, that's why we can. We're gonna say what we're gonna say too. We're gonna, oh, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna preach what right. so God we're gonna do. Our thing, you do your yeah. thing. Thank That's you. Have thing. a good one. We're gonna do our thing, you do your thing. That's right. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. You see, that is what's going on right now. The message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but unto us is the power of God. The message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, and that is what's going on. People that are perishing hate to hear this message. This message of peace, people do not want to hear it. People do not want to hear the message of peace. Yeah. We're here to give people peace. Because people that are living in sin are not at peace. Why do, why do they go to sleep wanna, thinking what? that, why did I even do this? Why did I do this sin towards my family members? What's the and they want to get free from it. Repent of your sins, that you may be saved. If you look at this this Bible, uh, this, the sign over here says repent. This I write it in the word of God. This is in the Bible. It says repent, therefore. That means that whatever was there before, you got to get rid of it. If you were a liar, you got to get rid of it. If you were a drunkard, you got to get rid of it. Before you can come to Christ, you got to get rid of all these things. You have to repent. And then, when you repent, then you can be converted. After you repent, then you can be converted. And then your sins may be blotted out. So that the times of refreshing may come from the uh, the presence of the Lord. You see? That's Acts 3.19. I did not write this. This is in the word of God. I did not write this. So why am I, why am I getting hated? Why does it look like I wrote it? I did not write this. This is the word of God. And all I'm doing here is letting people know the word of God so that they can repent this video and get saved. Oh, he'll probably post it on Facebook. I mean... Oh, okay, I don't go on my face showing. Um, oh, repent no, no, of no. your sins um, that you may be don't saved. Worry. Don't worry. Don't repent of your sins worry. that you may be saved. Um, yeah, yeah. Repent of your sins that you may be saved. Cut it. Uh, so many times that they counted me out. Uh.
I ain't gon' count it against him I'm tryna count all my blessings, but I do not got enough fingers to count Jumpin' like church on a Sunday, Holy Spirit got me teed up Don't you even get me going, don't you even get me talking about Jesus Talk about the one who saved my soul, he the one who came out the tomb I need the sun, it was dark in my heart like the